Good evening. Please be seated. Welcome to McLennan Community College's Spring 2023 Commencement. We are extremely pleased to have you here for this celebration. I'd like to take a moment to honor some special people with us today. Would everyone in the audience who is a veteran or active military please rise? Thank you. In appreciation for their service, I ask that you all please stand for the singing of our national anthem. Please be seated. Please join me in welcoming Dr. Johnette McCowan, president of McLennan Community College, who will welcome you and introduce our keynote speaker. Hello, everyone, and a great welcome to everyone. Recognizing you, our graduates, is the greatest celebration we experience. For me, this is the highlight of the year. Bienvenidos a la ceremonia de graduación de McLean Community College de mayo 2023. Reconociéndoles a ustedes graduados es nuestra mayor celebración. Para mí, este es el punto culminante del año. Students, this is your graduation, but this is only the end of this part of your journey, and your friends and families are excited to see you complete this step. They have walked with you and supported you. They were glad to lift you up when you were weary and to fill the gap in many ways. Estudiantes, esta es su ceremonia de graduación. Pero esto es solamente el fin de esta parte de su jornada académica. Y sus amigos y familias están emocionados de verlos completar esta etapa. Ellos son los que han caminado con ustedes y que les han apoyado. Ellos son los que se alegran en alegraron a levantarlos cuando ustedes estaban cansados y que les han ayudado en muchas maneras en atravesar los momentos más difíciles. Graduates, please stand and recognize your families and friends with a wave. Graduados, por favor, se levanten y reconozcan a su saludo. Thank you. Thank you very much. And your friends and families are not the only ones who have assisted you in this journey. 
who raised the bar high to be sure you would be well prepared for successful careers. They encouraged you, counseled you, protected you, supported you. These are the faculty and staff who knew you could finish, cared for you, helped when you needed a hand, and challenged you. Y sus amigos afanines no son los únicos que los han asistido en esta jornada, quienes elevaron en alto las exigencias académicas para asegurarse que ustedes estaban preparados para exitosas carreras, quienes les han alentado y aconsejado, quienes los han protegido y quienes los han apoyado a través de sus estudios. Estos son los profesores y el personal quienes sabían que ustedes podían completar esta jornada, animándoles y ayudándoles cuando ustedes necesitaban un apoyo y quienes se les han desafiado para que perseveraran. Now, please help me to recognize the McLennan Community College faculty and staff. Faculty and staff, will you stand to be recognized? It is now my privilege to introduce to you the McLennan Community College Board of Trustees as well as the MCC Foundation Directors. I first would like to introduce to you the Board of Trustees, elected officials who volunteer their time to ensure MCC is a special hallmark of learning. I will call their names and then let's give them some attention. Mr. K. Paul Holt. Board Chair, Mr. Earl Stanett, Vice Chair of the Board, Secretary Ricky Terman, Members, Mrs. Pauline Chavez, Dr. Elizabeth Palacios, and Mr. Jonathan Hill. I would now like for you to join me and recognizing Mrs. Pauline Chavez, who will be leaving the Board of Trustees after nearly 37 years of distinguished service. Pauline, would you stand? I would finally like to recognize Kim Patterson, Executive Director of the MCC Foundation and her members who are present. Kim and directors, please stand. Tonight I want to share some quotes from the members of your 2023 graduation class. Jacqueline Galvan, for the past four years, MCC has been my home Everyone has welcomed me and supported my education as a family would. The faculty advisors and professors have helped me succeed as a student and to gather all the necessary tools to also succeed in the workforce. It has been a true pleasure to be a part of this great family. Jackie, would you stand? There she is over there. And then from Caden Huff, and Caden, go ahead and stand. MCC has been more than just a great place for academic learning. It has been more than an awesome community where I could associate with other students, and even more than an environment where I felt like I belonged. No, MCC to me has been a family while I was away from my family. MCC has been my support system and place of personal growth. It's where I can look back and see where I was and where I am now. Thank you, Caden. She's over here. And finally, Vincent Croson. Vincent, if you'll stand. I've made a lot of mistakes in my time at MCC, but one mistake I have never made is doubting the intelligence, persistence, and mettle of my fellow MCC students. Thank you, Cro Vincent. Now we are fortunate today to have Dr. Lawrence Skubinick here to share some thoughts with you. He was an early pioneer as we brought Texas Tech to Waco 
and he is a champion for students, the university, and he is a person of character and integrity, and he is also my friend. President Skubanek, who received his doctorate in mathematics from Indiana University, has prioritized student success and scholarship support throughout his tenure. Since being appointed president at Texas Tech, he has significantly increased annual awards for merit and need-based scholarships, which has contributed to record first-year classes and numbers of national merit finalists, presidential scholars, and first-generation students. He is one who worked with us to ensure that our students at McLennan Community College have the very same transfer scholarship as those who go to Lubbock. So it's a good place to be. Texas Tech is now of more than 21 institutions that's designated as a Hispanic-serving institution. And the National Science Foundation has awarded tech funds to establishing an, in, an engineering research center. President Skubanek serves as chair of the Big 12 Board of Directors, chair of the Board of Directors of the Texas International Education Consortium, chair of the Texas Council of Public University Presidents and Chancellors, and is a member of the NASPA Board of Directors. Help me welcome Dr. Skubanek. Good evening, President McCowan, Chair Holt and trustees, faculty, staff, and most importantly, graduates. It's my privilege and great personal pleasure to be here tonight to extend my congratulations to each of you and to share this occasion with you, your parents, your spouse, your children, family, and loved ones. All of us on this stage are thrilled to be part of your celebration. Yesterday morning, I began my day at a place where I go to exercise, and I sat down next to a, one of our professors in the law school. Our conversation turned to the graduation season. I mentioned that I would be addressing graduates of McLennan Community College. I asked the professor if she remembered anything a commencement speaker had said at the many ceremonies she had attended. She said nothing, couldn't remember a thing. Surely something profound you took from that event. No, not really. But she said the amazing thing was as many ceremonies as I've attended, they all seem to say the same thing. That may be true. My message may not be profound, but when I'm finished here, I know that each of you will take something from this ceremony. A small gift to each of you has been placed under your chair, courtesy of the Department of Undergraduate Admissions at Texas Tech University. So I do hope you take that with you. Though you gather here as members of the MCC community, this is a very personal and proud moment for you and your families. It's my honor to share this occasion with you. I have much respect and admiration for all of you and what you have achieved. Without question, you've had to overcome hurdles, some quite significant to reach this point. You are not a typical graduation class. Some of you are high school students. Some of you are receiving an associate degree, some a certi certification, and some of you are non-traditional students. Each of your stories is unique, but there are many experiences that you share with every graduate across this nation as a member of the class of 2023. You spent a good part of recent years navigating a global pandemic. It certainly changed lives and gave us memories we won't soon forget. And I'm not talking about those days when people were hoarding toilet paper. Online learning, Zooming, the seemingly endless stream of video calls. And like every challenge we face in life, we need to take from those experiences lessons that inform us as we go forward. For example, we didn't realize how a society needed schools until they were shuttered. 
While technology opens many educational possibilities for those who can access it, too many students have unreliable or no internet connection, and the digital divide disproportionately impacts certain segments of our population. The pandemic proved that the lack of childcare is one of the biggest barriers to college attainment. Each of you followed your own path to the credential or the degree you'll be receiving tonight. Many of you were working or had an, an established career. In seeking this degree, class and homework were not always the only things you had to balance. To take on this challenge required sacrifice and courage. But you felt a need for something more, for yourself, for your family. I believe you've accomplished a great thing. I've been blessed to spend my life around people pursuing education. I've been inspired and humbled by the courage and the tenacity of students and the faculty and the families that support them. I have witnessed what an education does for the individual and more generally society. A college degree is not the only route to a full and satisfying life, but there was never a doubt that I would not pursue a college degree and that is based on the example of my mom and dad. I was one of 12 children raised on a farm in Oklahoma. My mom was the first in her family to get a college degree from Oklahoma State University in 1950. Yesterday, I called my mom, who's 93, and I asked her, how many years passed from the time dad graduated from high school that he decided to go to college? And she said, 18 years. He was a farmer concerned about how he could provide a college degree for his children. He always used to say to us, there won't be much to divide when I'm gone, but we'll give you a college education. In hindsight, that was very amazing because no one in his family had gone to college. So he started going to what was then called night school at a place called Phillips University in Enid, Oklahoma. He was a good student and Phillips told him, if you'll go someplace else and get a degree and a graduate degree, we might hire you here at Phillips. So he began to commute to Oklahoma State University, driving 60 miles a day. He was staking his life and what he could do for his family on the belief that education would make it all good. At the same time, my mom started to go back to college. She was pregnant with the 12th child, and she told me yesterday that the professor did not want her in that classroom because he was afraid that she would have a child at any moment. But anyway, mom got a master's degree, dad got a master's degree, and he began to teach at Phillips University. He was chair of the Department of Business Administration at Phillips, but he was still a farmer when he died at the age of 54. And all 12 children got a degree. You too made a conscious decision to pursue additional education. You may not have been certain how this would end, but you trusted that it would be worth it. You probably cannot foresee the ways in which getting a degree will impact your life. Our provost, Ron Hendrick, who is here tonight, first earned an associate degree when he was a young man in Michigan. I doubt that he could have foreseen the career he would have as a faculty member and an administrator at the University of Georgia, Ohio State, and Michigan State before coming to Texas Tech as provost. And though you cannot be certain of what lies ahead, your future possibilities are greater for the credential you are receiving tonight. The degree on your resume doesn't define you, but it says a lot about you. It speaks to the opportunities and the doors that may open that you could never have imagined 
without that credential. And others will benefit as well. Your example is important to those who look to you, a member of your family or a person in this community. You're someone they may want to emulate. The decisions made across every sector of society are shaped by what people making those decisions know, how they think, and what they value. The real power of education is how it affects those factors. This state, our society, needs people like you. There is a national conversation taking place right now about the value of higher education. Your voice and example is important in that conversation. Your example will help others to achieve in the future what you achieved today. When you chose to go down this path to get a degree, you made a statement about the value of education. You may have been motivated by job advancement, but I feel there are deep, deeper reasons for all of us to pursue education. Regardless of your career path, I believe you are prepared to make the world better. Our state and our society needs people like you with the skills and the qualities that education provides. Society needs people who think broadly and act in ways that inspires others. Society needs people who communicate clearly because they think clearly. Society needs people who know how to build a community, work with others, and engage civically. Society needs people with the capacity and the patience to become experts. Society needs people who care about truth and justice and can influence change. Society needs people who truly listen with an open mind and an open heart and are humble enough to change their mind. Society needs people who are thinkers and doers determined to make things better. Society needs people who are resilient and unafraid to fail and try again and again and again. Society needs people who lead and think ethically, holding themselves accountable. Society needs people who care for others. Society needs people like you. There are more than 400 graduates before me, and as president of Texas Tech University, I wouldn't be doing my job if I didn't remind each of you that you are great candidates, would be very desirable to have on our campus in Lubbock or as part of our affiliation here in MCC. The Red Raider family is one that is truly welcoming, where every student has an opportunity to find even greater success. And I invite you to be part of that family. With your talents, your education, and the work ethic you've displayed, I'm confident that you're well positioned for what's next in your life. You should be proud of what you've accomplished. To the class of May 2023, I extend my heartfelt congratulations and best wishes for success. Will the candidates for graduation please rise. Que los candidatos a graduación, por favor, se levanten. As Vice President of Instruction and Student Engagement at McLennan Community College, and upon recommendation of the faculty and the administration, I certify that these candidates have completed all the requirements for the indicated certificates and associate degrees as prescribed by the Board of Trustees. Como Vicepresidente de Instrucción y Servicio Estudiantil de McLennan Community College, y por la recomendación de la Facultad y la Administración, certifico que estos candidatos han completado todos los requisitos para 
indicados certificados y títulos académicos prescritos por la Junta Directiva. Upon recommendation of the faculty and administration and as chairman of the board of trustees, I hereby award the indicated certificates and associate degrees to which you are entitled with all the rights and privileges thereto. Please be seated. You may be seated. Will the candidates please come forward to receive their certificates and degrees? Que los candidatos, por favor, vengan al frente para recibir sus certificados y títulos académicos. Sarai Alexis Acevedo with honors. Giselle Aguilar with high honors. Juan Diego Aguilar with honors. Opalua Mary Ajabi. Roberto M. Alarcon. Austin K. Albrecht with honors. Gabriela Albrecht. Brittany M. Alexander. Elizabeth Mercedes Alexander. Emily Ann Allen. Zachary R. Allen. Khalif Opayemi Alem. Patricia Alonzo with honors. Delaney B. Anderson. Alejandra Angulo Esqueda. Alize Soraya Ariano. Grace N. Eights. Amber K. Baker. Emily M. Balch with honors. Abigail Barrientos. Lainey Beam with high honors. Kenneth J. Beck. Brikadra R. Bell. Jenna Marie Benskin with honors. Alejandro Bentoncourt. Dora Marie Bleas. Sine Bobbitt. Aaron T. Boyd. <laughs> Stephanie L. Bradshaw. Emma Catherine Braswell. Raven A. Bright with honors. <laughs> Bailey Nicole Brown.
Tanya Brownlee. Jaden T. Bullard. Amber L. Calabrese. David Camarillo. Giselle M. Campos with honors. Naomi R. Canal with honors. Michaela Danae Cardona. Tiasman Meadow Carey with high honors. Ethan E. Carpenter. Lorena Carrillo. Zia Micaiah Carroll Betrell. Daquan G. Carter with honors. Brittany Deshawn Carruthers. Ashley Castanon. Jonathan E. Castanon. Brian Castro with honors. Tyler B. Castro Skeins. Kaylin Michelle Chandler. Alana Marie Chapa with high honors. Alondra Chavez. Frida J. Clark. Peter M. Clark with high honors. Jared Clausen with honors. Shirley E. N. Cleveland with honors. Victoria D. Campo. Amarillas D. Contreras. Dario Contreras. Shelby A. Copeland. Jennifer Cordero with honors. Madison Grace Curley with honors. Michaela Lynn Curry. Timothy Johnell Danforth. Ethan Nathaniel Davila. Brittany N. Dawson. Aramy De Jesus. Johanna De La Cruz with honors. Gregory Martin Dionda Barragan. Maritza De Goyada Ramirez with honors. Giselle Jacqueline De Hoyos Martinez. Marlon De La Rosa with high honors. Sophie De Sopo. Kyle D. Dvorsky. Destina Malia Viola Dolphin. Gabriela Dominguez. Parker M. Dooley. Danielle M. Dunn with high honors. Stacy Marie Ehlers with honors. Juliana, Juliana M. Elliott. Hannah G. Ellison. Amanda L. Engelke. Alejandro Enriquez. Anai A. Escobedo. Augustin Angel Escobedo. Ileana Escobedo. Yasmin Escobedo Escobedo with high honors. Adrian J. Estrada. 
Adrian Kathleen Evans with honors. Jennifer R. Evans. Logan James Ferguson. Dolores Maribel Fernandez. Daniela Leanne Fields. Carla J. Figueroa Herrera. Caitlin Summer Fincher. Luther T. Fisher III with honors. Asa Flores with honors. Marilyn S. Flores. Naomi M. Flores with honors. Rafael Flores Jr. Kayla Sean Shaquan Flythe. Kerwin M. Foster. William J. Fox with honors. Dylan M. Gagnon. Iris Galeote with honors. Karina J. Gallegos. Jacqueline Galvan Ochoa with high honors. Erica Galvan Vitella with honors. Emily N. Garcia. Guadalupe, Guadalupe G. Garcia. Matthew Cruz Garcia with high, with honors. Mackenzie R. Gassaway. Ashley Dawn Gatchi with honors. Chantel E. George. Mary Elaine Gilly with honors. Micaiah R. Glynn. Liam O. Gobin with honors. Rose Gonzalez with honors. Megan L. Gonzalez. Sandra Gonzalez. Alejandra G. Gonzalez with high honors. Karen Gonzalez with honors. Vania Gonzalez with high honors. Kelly C. Graham with honors. Lucas R. Grangen. Monica Amari Greathouse. Ashante Keontae Green. Lacey R. Griffin. Ricky L. Griffin. Valeria Guerrero. Absidy Kaylin Gutierrez with honors. Ainsley E. Guy. Brianna P. Hayek. Demi L. Hale. Anna K. Guzman. Caitlin Hale. Sydney Marie Hart. Cheyenne R. Hendricks with honors. Maritza Hernandez Trombo. Nadia A. Hill. Patrick D. Hill. Anaya S. Holmes. Haley Catherine Howes. Caden Huff. 
Elizabeth Faith Infante. Pablo Infante. Walina B. Jackson. Emma E. Jaquiz with honors. Michelle C. Jaimez with honors. Addison R. Jallo with honors. Grace D. Jimenez with honors. Betsabel Jimenez Gonzalez. Savannah Leticia Johnson with honors. Dawn L. Jones. Arlette Jimena Juarez Sanchez. Karis Elisa Conyer. Shochiro Cato with honors. Jessica R. Keggins. June N. Kent. Casey C. Ketchum with honors. Madison Marie Clement. Micah Timothy Elliott Kolb. Samantha L. Krause. Caitlin Nicole Lander with honors. Brooklyn T. Lankford. Caitlin Laura. Charmaine L. LaSalle. Andrew Nicholas Leathers. Lashendra Denise Lee. Raven S. Leonard. Hannah Rose Lilly. Miana L. Little. Erica A. Lopez. Mackenzie L. Lowther. Valeria N. Lozano. Fabian L. Lovano with high honors. Jimena Lugo Rubio. Kaylee A. Lynch. Christine Lee Mailman. Leah Mailman. Jonisha T. Majors. Evelyn Malacara. Daisy C. Maldonado. Leticia M. Maldonado with honors. <laughs> Esther Xavier Marculo. Carlos Marin Rodriguez, Jr., with honors. Jonathan J. Martinez. Marilyn Martinez. Myra Martinez. Rosario Martinez Badillo. Alyssa D. May. Lynn 
Latasha Desmarie Renee McVade. Eileen Medina Salazar. Serena R. Medina with honors. Haley Nicole Medina with honors. Evelyn Medrano. Deidre Diane Rice Meese. Daniela Mendoza. Isabel Mendoza. Alicia Mills with high honors. Ariel Michelle Minor with high honors. Jessalyn S. Mixon. Miguel M. Mbeke. Brittany N. Monsebais with high honors. Jose A. Morales. Mercedes A. Morales. Brian Daniel Moreno. Janet Yolotzi Moreno. Andrew Mornes Jones. Okay. Jayla M. Morris. Elena R. Morrow with high honors. Caitlin R. Murnane with high honors. Holly Myers with honors. Rondal J. Napier. Tamara A. Napier. Sierra Mia Nava. Jaylee Mackenzie Neff. Avash Neopane with honors. Christian Norton with honors. Mila S. Ochoa. <laughs> Liliana Marie Olalde. Deontre Jarrell Oliver. Destiny Olvera. Sandra S. Orellana Castillo. Laurel A. Ortiz. Marla Oob. Cora G. Owens with honors. David E. Packett. Damien J. Palmer. Ku 
Kushal Panti with high honors. Kagan R. Parks. Ariana A. Perales. Allison Irene Perez. Isaac Perez. Isai A. Perez with honors. Aliza M. Petty. Erica M. Pivia. <laughs> Lakeisha Siobhan Farr. Jamie Cheyenne Pierce. Aaron E. Plunkett with high honors. Bikal Powdell with high honors. Connor Reed Pratka. Michaela B. Putty. Tirza Felina Rawls with high honors. Alexia Sierra Ramirez. Maria A. Ramirez. Yahir A. Ramirez. Aylin Ramirez Moreno. Ariel Ramos. Lacinda L. Ramos. Molly M. Ramos. Alonzo Rangel. Jaylee B. Reedy with honors. Julie L. Reed with honors. Lauren E. Reed with high honors. Samfana Marie Rendon. Amber D. Renault. Joseph D. Richard. Kenyana M. Ridge. Selena M. Rios. Lauren G. Rivera. Terry Rivera Lopez. Maria V. Rivera Latimer with honors. Sydney Robinson. Jenny B. Robinson. Daisy R. Rocha. Emmanuel Rodriguez. Mason Marie Rogers with honors. Yeah. 
Nolan DeAndre Malik Rogers, Jr. Eloisa A. Rosales. Caitlin M. Rose. Angela Lynn Rost. Juana Melissa Rubio with honors. <laughs> Ulisa Ruiz Saucedo. Shania A. Rumsey. Riley S. Rutherford with honors. Clinton W. Riles. Christina Salinas. Keshawn Jamarian Sanders. Ariana Neve Juanita Sandoval Pretty. Jada D. Shower. Ivory M. Scott. Sharia Elizabeth Scott with high honors. Sharice E. Scott with honors. Allison Lynn Sexton. Amber D. Seymour. Brianna N. Schilling. Savannah Shuffler. Alondra Sierra. Gerardo Sierra Granados. Siana N. Cifuentes Morales. Beyanira Silva. Janelle U. Silva with high honors. Delaney A. Simidovic. Elizabeth D. Smith. William Richard Jacob Smith III. Yolanda M. Snow with high honors. Carla E. Solis Diaz. Delaney Solis Rodriguez. Yvonne E. Springer. Catherine N. St. John. Bailey D. St. Romain. Emily Ann Stambaugh. Haley Ann Stevens. Tanya Cherie Stevens. Freddie Self Story. Landon K. Strange with honors. Edward Lee Strickling, Jr. Michaela N. Stroud. Allie Sweet. 
Zion D. Sweet. Sarah L. Teague. Jalen Thompson. Destiny M. Tijerina. David M. Thompson. Elizabeth Torres. Jennifer Torres. Katie Y. Torres. Olga Turner Perez. Layson Upmore with high honors. Madison R. Upmore with high honors. Dave Tehran Vassas with high honors. Brandon Vega. Javier A. Vela Castillo. Jennifer C. Velasquez. Sierra A. Veracruz with high honors. Colleen Renee Vernon. Mason R. Veselka. Joshua Villalobos. Landon L. Wachtendorf with honors. Tierra L. Walker. Matthew S. Watkins. Courtney Ann Watson. Tyler Michael Lloyd Watson. Kylie B. Weir. Savannah E. Whitehead. Michelle Eloise Williams. Grady Stash Wilson with high honors. Carly A. Wilson. Morgan D. L. Wishart. Madeline J. Walco with high honors. Macy R. Wolski with high honors. Deborah Ann Woods. Joseph B. Wright. Cynthia Yamas. Kyle Yuan. Diana M. Zavala. The following students are graduating with the highest honors. They are completing an associate degree, having maintained a 4.0 grade point average throughout their coursework. This is an astounding accomplishment, and we congratulate them on their hard work and dedication. Let's hear their stories. Los siguientes estudiantes se gradúan con los más altos honores. Completan su título académico habiendo mantenido un promedio de 4.0, básicamente calificaciones de A en todas sus clases requeridas para completar sus estudios. 
Este es un tremendo logro y los, los reconocemos por su dedicación y esfuerzo. Oigamos sus historias. Lily Nguyen Bien, with highest honors. Lily Nguyen Bien is receiving an Associate of Arts in General Academics. When asked what influenced her academic success, Lily says, I would like to thank Professors Barnes, Hazel, and Sho for supporting and assisting me through my academic journey. Lily plans to continue her education at the University of Texas at Austin, double majoring in textiles and apparel and business administration. Congratulations, Lily, on being a McLennan Community College Highest Honor graduate. <laughs> Lily Nguyen Bien with highest honors. Chantel Nicole Cotton. Chantel Nicole Cotton is receiving an Associate of Arts in General Academics and an Associate of Arts in Teaching. When asked what influenced her academic success, Chantel says, I would first like to thank my children and my family. They've been my biggest supporters through it all. I would also like to give thanks to Professor Tolbert, Dr. T, Professor Willis, Professor Swanson, and the rest of MCC's staff that I've come across. You all hold a special place in my heart. Without you, this wouldn't have been possible. Again, thank you. Chantel plans to continue her education at Texas Tech University at Waco, majoring in education with an emphasis in middle level math. Congratulations, Chantel, on being a McLennan Community College Highest Honor Graduate, Chantel Nicole Cotton, with highest honors. Vincent Arlen Krausen. Vincent Arlen Krausen is receiving an Associate of Arts in General Academics. When asked what influenced his academic success, Vincent says, I would like to thank my family, colleagues in the speech and debate community, professors, friends, and so many others for my success. My achievements aren't my own. Vincent plans to continue his education at Texas Tech University, majoring in English and political science with a minor in history. Congratulations, Vincent, on being a McLennan Community College Highest Honor Graduate. Vincent Arlen Croson with highest honors. Savannah Nicole Hughes. Savannah Nicole Hughes is receiving an Associate of Arts in General Academics. When asked what influenced her academic success, Savannah says, I would like to thank Dr. Dove for influencing my academic success. Savannah plans to continue her education in the Physical Therapy Assistant Program at MCC. Congratulations, Savannah, on being a McLennan Community College Highest Honor Graduate. Savannah Nicole Hughes with highest honors. Sydney Leanna Kirby. Sydney Leanna Kirby is receiving an Associate of Arts in General Academics. When asked what influenced her academic success, Sydney says, first I would like to thank God for giving me the ability to set and achieve high goals for myself. I would also like to thank my parents for supporting me physically, mentally, and emotionally through everything. Finally, I thank Coach Barry and Smith for bringing me to MCC. Sydney plans to study nursing, but is undecided on the school she will attend. Congratulations, Sydney, on being a McLennan Community College Highest Honor graduate. Sydney Leanna Kirby with highest honors. Victoria Ledesma Amaro.
Victoria Ledesma Amaro is receiving an Associate of Arts in General Academics. When asked what influenced her academic success, Victoria says, during my time at MCC, I've had the opportunity to be mentored by multiple people who have influenced me to be where I am today. I would like to thank my former teachers and family who have always pushed me to keep striving for the best and never let anyone doubt my abilities. Thank you to La Vega Early College High School for accepting me into the program and providing the opportunity to earn my degree from MCC before I graduate high school in a few days. My motto is, if opportunity knocks, you have to walk through the door, and I did. Through perseverance and determination for the past four years, I challenged myself to do and give my best when it came to my academic achievements. I learned how to believe in myself even when I faced adversity. Victoria plans to continue her education at Texas State University, majoring in communication disorders. Congratulations, Victoria, on being a McLennan Community College Highest Honor Graduate. Victoria Ledesma Amaro with highest honors. Suparni Timtong with highest honors. Suparni Tim Tong is receiving an Associate of Arts in General Academics. When asked what influenced her academic success, Suparni says, I would like to thank everyone in my family for the support and all the teachers and tutors at MCC. Special thanks to my daughter, Karista. You are the reason I make it through the day. Suparni plans to continue her education at Tarleton State University. Congratulations, Suparni on being a McLennan Community College Highest Honor Graduate, Suparni Tim Tong with Highest Honors. Would you now please stand for the singing of the McLennan Alma Mater. And now is the time for the traditional turning of the tassel. Graduates, please move your tassel from right to left. Congratulations. Please, please be seated. Before we recess, please join me in thanking those who assisted in the ceremony. Their names are listed in the program. We ask that the audience please remain seated for the recessional. After the recessional, please exit the arena. Thank you again for attending this evening's ceremony. <laughs> 